We come to expect the same foods every year at Thanksgiving. We've got turkey and sweet potatoes and mashed potatoes and gravy and pumpkin pie. But sometimes it's kind of fun to add a new little twist to those traditional foods that we expect to have at the dinner table. Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can make a sweet potato salad. That's right, a cold sweet potato salad. Actually, it's really good at room temperature too. But the first thing I did was go to the store and check out the sweet potatoes. Look for the ones that are pretty smooth, they're plump and heavy. Those will be perfect for the salad. The next thing I did was bring it home, I washed them, I peeled it, and then I cut it into about a half inch dice. And from my cutting board, I put it into my little steamer. Now this is one of the handiest and tools you can have in the kitchen, and it's a wonderful way to prepare food in a healthy way. So what I did was put a little bit of water in the bottom of my pot, and you can see it's turned a little bit color because I just steamed my sweet potato. And I only used one today because I'm making it for just two people for dinner tonight. So I put a little bit of water in, but just enough to cover the bottom of the pot. I don't want the water to come through the holes of my steamer. This is nice because it adjusts to lots of different size pots and you can pick them up in lots of stores for $10 or less. So it's a very good investment for the kitchen. So once the water came to a boil, I covered the pot and let it steam for only 10 to 15 minutes. Watch it close because you only want your sweet potatoes to be fork tender. So when you push your fork into the sweet potato, it won't fall apart. It'll still hold its shape, but it's still nice and soft when you bite into it. So I put those into my bowl and they're still a little bit warm and I like to keep them warm when I pour my vinaigrette dressing over it. Now to my sweet potatoes, I'm going to add some diced red onion. If you want, you can add celery. You can really kind of customize this to your own taste and the things that your family likes to eat. So I've got my sweet, pota or, uh, sweet potatoes and my red onions in there. I'm also going to sprinkle in a little bit of dried cranberries. So I've got my basic ingredients in here here and now I'm going to mix up a vinaigrette rather than those heavy mayonnaise dressings that most traditional potato salads have. This one has a nice light vinaigrette and in my bowl I've already mixed up some honey, some cider vinegar and a little bit of Dijon mustard and to that I'm going to very gradually add my vegetable oil or canola oil you can use, whatever you like. And it's not going to be a real heavy dressing. That's what I like about this, it's nice and light. So I'm going to pour this, and I'm not going to need all of it, just enough to kind of coat it. Then I would cover my bowl, put it in the refrigerator and chill it for at least an hour. And just before serving, I'm going to toss in some toasted pecans that I've had in the oven at 350 degrees for about eight to 10 minutes. I'll crumble those in, in at the last minute because I want them to be nice and crispy and crunchy when I bite into them. So there you go, a traditional favorite at, with a new twist. I hope you'll try it. Get the recipe at www.lakelandptv.org. I'm Sue Doden and now we're cooking.